Today I'm making spaghetti squash with pomodoro sauce. Now at first glance, all the varieties of winter squash here look pretty much similar on the outside, but there's one big difference with this one, spaghetti squash. When you cook it, it's not soft and light and fluffy. It doesn't mash up like regular winter squash. It actually separates into these um, spaghetti-like strands. So you can use it as a nice, light, low-carb alternative to regular spaghetti. This pomodoro sauce is made with San Marzano tomatoes. It's actually what's called a DOP, and really what that means is this particular variety of tomato is grown in a specific region in Italy, um, and in this case, it happens to be at the base of Mount Vesuvius. Really, what it is is a very ripe, very sweet tomato variety. Um, they're already peeled, and all you can find in this can is just tomato and basil. Okay, this recipe calls for one spaghetti squash cut in half lengthwise like this one. You can do it yourself or you can even buy it already cut in half for you. I've removed the seeds from the cavity, so now we just have to cook it in the microwave. We're going to place the squash um, skin side up, so the cut part down on a microwave safe plate. Cover that with saran wrap and it goes in the microwave on a high setting for about 8 to 10 minutes until it's tender. Okay, the squash has been cooked, but I let it rest for about 10 minutes um, out of the microwave because I really wanted to cool it so that I can handle it now. Okay, now that this is cool enough to handle, we're going to bring this over here to our bowl. And then just to remove the strands, the spaghetti-like strands, just as the name calls for, as you can see why it's called spaghetti squash, just take a fork like that and run it down the, um, the entire length of the squash until all of the um, squash has been removed. It takes very little time to do this. Okay, let's move on by making the sauce. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil to our skillet. This is on medium low, and we're um, adding to that one small onion, cut into a small dice, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of red chili pepper flakes. You can always adjust that um, to, your, to your liking if you like a little bit hotter. And we're going to cook that on medium-low about five minutes until the onion is translucent but not browned. Okay, that looks translucent to me. Now we're adding a clove of garlic that has been minced finely to the skillet. Um, we don't add that with the onion because you want to have that flavor of garlic a little bit more in there, so that dissipates as the more it cooks, so we're going to leave that in here only for about two minutes. Okay, the next step, we're adding a half can of San Marzano tomatoes, crushed. And the way I do this is I simply crush them with my hands. They're so tender and so ripe that that's very easy to do. We've got one small sprig of uh, fresh rosemary in there. And then season this with some salt and pepper. And we're going to let this simmer on low for about 10 minutes. Okay, as you can see, this sauce hasn't been cooking for that long, so it still has a nice, fresh um, appearance and flavor to it, you'll see. So the next step we really want to do is remove the rosemary because we want it to be infused a little bit with the flavor of rosemary, but not too prominent. And we're adding into the skillet the spaghetti squash that's already been removed from the shell. Okay, this has to heat through just long enough so that it's hot and, um, and coated with the, um, with the tomato sauce. All right, let's add a little bit to our bowl. This looks wonderful. And for finishing touch, we're adding a little bit of grated Pecorino Romano cheese. It's got a little bit of tang to it, give it a, a nice kick of flavor. And finally, a little bit of fresh, um, thinly sliced basil on the very top to really complement those flavors. So that's it, spaghetti squash with pomodoro sauce.